What is up, gamers? It's your boy, Dollar Store Thor here. Jumping back into samurai shenanigans. Back into teasing, pulling, if you will, any sort of samurai science you can possibly get out of this. Hey, it's Beyond Science Budget Thor. Is this Kyle or one of his clones while he's doing other super villainy stuff? No comment. Kragen says you'll always be affiliated in my eyes, buddy. Hey, don't worry. Most Twitch streamers have like three viewers. We're, we're doing fine. Hey, that guy you trained, he has lightning coming out of his body. Isn't that weird? Yes. The funny thing uh, about lightning is that even though we understand more or less how lightning is generated, it still is kind of baffling. Lightning is generated by a large electrical discharge that happens between positive and negative charges. So when little particles of dust and ice are being churned and thrown around inside of clouds, they build up an overall negative charge. That's distinct from what the ground is feeling underneath those clouds. And that is a positive charge building up on the sur surface of the Earth. Now, when this charge difference, where am I going, gets big enough, it equalizes itself. And this equalization that happens at like a third the speed of light is what we call lightning. Even the immense voltages inside of lightning bolts, it doesn't account for the great distances that lightning can travel. So when lightning strikes all the way down from the from the sky, that distance should be too far to break down based on the voltages that we know. And so far, we don't have any good explanations for that. Science, we don't know everything yet. While I was doing that, I forgot where I was going. I have no idea what I'm doing. I forget where anything is. Uh, okay, so now I'm on the other side. That's where the snake was, the giant serpent. It would be hard for a serpent that large to exist in an area such as this that is very um, cold. As snakes are cold-blooded, they need to warm their... I, I held luck. They need to warm their bodies up in the ambient temperature. If the ambient temp... I'm not, I'm not focusing at all. Will you stop it? If the ambient temperature is very cold, then it's going to be hard for that creature to get a lot of ambient energy for movement and metabolism and all that. Why? Oh, hello. He doesn't suspect a thing. Oh, hello. Hello. Bye-bye. <laughs> because it is a bounty in and of itself. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> uh. Can't shoot through an umbrella. <laughs> And the music dies down. Uh, Lizzie Live says, What material would an umbrella be made of to protect from guns? Uh, guns like this, they look like muskets. Uh, that means uh, relatively low muzzle velocity, I'm guessing. Um, which means, um, I, bet, I bet some good steel could do it. Wow, this is much more successful than the first time I did this. Where they basically all saw, saw me at the exact same time. <laughs> See now, for weapons with higher muzzle velocities, um, that means more kinetic energy. Modern rifles fire bullets at like faster than the speed of sound. So there's a lot of kinetic energy behind modern bullets uh, with modern gunpowder. Um, muskets shoot balls. They're not there. They need rifling to stabilize them in flight. Uh, modern bullets are better in every way and have a lot more kinetic energy. And so more kinetic energy means you need more material or thicker material or stronger material. And um, that'd be harder to have in a wherever, whatever century I'm in. Um, Firewave says Brain Thor is on. What a treat. I don't mind Brain Thor. 
because I'm definitely not Bronzor. This freaking guy. Let's try to get behind him. Nope. Okay. And that's how you do that. Oh, lost it. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Um, I hate this guy. So, but he is the way forward. He is blocking the way with a fog gate. Um, uh, and I need to go to Emma to get an extra gourd. <laughs> gourd! Shut up. Um, have you ever tried to do this? No, seriously. Do you know how hard this is? I've been rock climbing the majority of my life. Just doing this is more than... I'd say doing this three times is more than the average person could do before they completely just fell down and died. 100%. Climbing is hard. Oh, my stomach and abs! Oh, hopefully I don't die with my ass hanging out. Oh. <laughs> Most people don't like their own voice because what you hear coming out of your face is also part of uh, the resonance of your skull, how sound travels through your tissues and your ear bones and your skull and your mouth and your face and all that factors into what you actually hear of your own voice. And so when you just have your voice recorded and it's just the sound waves being transduced into electrical signals transduced into memory, something like your smartphone you're not getting that additional overlay that that filter it's it's like putting reverb but instead it's like brain verb um trademark um you don't you're not getting that brain verb and so your your voice usually sounds different hey can i cheese this guy like this is he looking right at me i feel like he's looking right at me hey <laughs> hey <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, did we did we do this perfect? We did. <laughs> oh man. Roboto! Oh, yeah, first try, baby. The reason you get more radiation exposure on a flight is simply because you are closer to space and there's less atmosphere between you and space. With less atmosphere, there's less air in the way. And with less air in the way, it's less stuff to block cosmic radiation. So on a flight, you get much more cosmic radiation. Uh... Pipe Miss Rex says, you would think a solid metal plane would filter more than air. The problem is, Rex, uh, nothing's being filtered. It's passing directly through the plane and into your body. Um, high energy radiation just goes through stuff. Your robes look stupid. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. CJ Shadow says, you're the idol, Kyle, not these guys. CJ, calm down. Excuse me, sir. Ew, my body. Well, you shouldn't have been a centipede then. Where the monkeys are? Oh, this is the idol. Yes, this is the idol. The demon bell idol, right? Wrong again, Yugi. Yeah, see, it's bringing me back because there's an idol behind it? What? What's my malfunction right now, dude? Am I crazy? Oh, there it is. Jesus. Now it's time for Monk Monks. And these little Monk Monks might take me a second. Cowardly Turtle, first time catching your stream. Cowardly, happy to have you here. We're about to slice some sentient baboons. I forgot what I, I, forgot what I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. He's behind me. So you're here. You're here. You're here. Found you.
Doesn't matter if you're invisible when you're dead. So, what I did before was I think I just YOLO jumped it here. Yes! <laughs> that took me so much longer the first time. And that's how you do that? That's screen monkeys. Oh, you fools. You stupid fools. <laughs> Machine says the superior primate wins. That's me. Do you want to see me try Guardian Ape? So I think there's some gun guys or a naked monkey down here. This is what you get for wearing underwear. Okay, so here's the thing, monkey. I need you... I need to go into your brain and make you dance. Go dance. Yes, go dance. Go dance. Yep, there you go. It's monkey time. I have very low vitality, I will point out, so I might just die. I need—I don't have enough pair of beads, because I didn't fight, like, any mini-bosses. I could go back and fight... We'll see how this goes. Strategy is to firecracker the first phase as much as you can, and then... Flowing passages, but... As much as you can, and then second phase, I'm basically going to be running away from him for 10 minutes and trying to bait out an attack where he uh, does like a water slide head dive at me. And that's the only time I've found where you're basically safe. So, let's see how implementing that goes. The, real, the one thing I'm worried about here, well, aside from dying, when he throws poop at you, it can one-shot you, and that's annoying. So, let's see how it goes. Oh! Already not great. <laughs> so he falls down here. Run away. He's gonna fart at me. Now here comes some poop. Jump. Oh, I get my vitality back. Alright, here we go, here we go. Now, spoiler alert, if you've never seen this boss before, this is the big, this is why this boss is famous. It's like, oh, wow, you're, you're relaxing, you're like, wow, I did a good job. Did a good job. There's nothing more to worry about. Oh, no, what? I mean, come on, if I do this first try on stream, for all of you, this is like, God Gamer status, yeah? Come on! I don't think his lady monkey friend was that happy about that. That might be our last time on Sekiro, um, so if you want to see a new game, if you have an idea, let me know, tweet at me, let me know in the Discord. Uh, I have the Bioshock remaster all loaded up, I was thinking about Bioshock, um, but it was a lot of fun showing off just how gosh dang good I've gotten at Sekiro. Uh, I hope you had a good time while you've been here, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, I want you to start the week off amazingly energetically, enthusiastically. You don't have to be enthusiastic. It's fine to be sad. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I will see you in the command center next time.